Hello everyone, I am Damiano Berardo, I'm Italian, but I represent the Lund University chapter in Sweden. And our outreach is about how we can turn a normal smartphone into a spectrometer. So, nowadays we have a smartphone which has a really good camera, and the optics of this camera can actually be used in a different way, not only for pictures. And if we take a piece of DVD, <laughs> and we peel off the top layer, we get this transparent piece of plastic, which is actually uh, can be used as a diffraction grating because the DVD are um, patterned to be written on, so they're kind of bumps and walls, and they can be in there excellent to diffract light in different colors. Even with the naked eye, you can see the the, the rainbow pretty much on it. So uh, we took this idea from CERN. It's a, please go on the website, download it, fold it yourself. You can make a small spectrometer out of paperboard, pretty much. But we went a step further, and we, we used the 3D printer in the department to 3D print a portable model. So this is actually one you can fit in your pocket, as you can see. This is the closed version. And once you open it, you basically just have to mount it, plug it into place. Here there is a diffraction grid. If there is a slit, we take the smartphone. I turn on the front camera in this case just to show better. And if we go to a lamp and we align it better, we can see the spectrum of the lamp, different wavelengths. And here I have a bit of sampling. This is an incandescent lamp, the old lamps, which no one uses anymore, which gets really hot with tungsten, which are kind of a broad, spec a broad spectrum across the visible wavelength. Those are different models of fluorescent lamps, which are precise uh, wavelengths, which means that the color of the lamp is not white, but it's kind of yellowish or greenish, uh, depending on the combination. And here we have a la last generation for LEDs, which are actually really efficient. And as you can see, they simulate pretty well uh, the white light. But of course, the blue is not perfect. And well, there is a reason why they got a Nobel Prize for the blue LEDs. So, yeah, this is what we usually do with students. What we do to make it a bit more funny is to give them a couple of calibration wavelengths and then asking them to evaluate on the nanometer psi precision the, um, the spectrum of different lamps. And who wins usually gets uh, to the printed model. So thank you. Please go on the website and try to do it yourself. And in case you want the trace printer model, well, write us. We will be able to, we'll be glad to help you uh, and send you a prototype for your 3D printer. Thank you very much.